Disturbing and graphic mobile phone footage of mutilated and burnt bodies found in the aftermath of the Ugusago massacre. Either shot or hacked to death, 160 Fulani villagers died in a matter of hours. The International Criminal Court are investigating what possibly constitutes crimes against humanity. It is a massacre the survivors believe could have been prevented. We knew that it had to be the Dogon hunters, no one else but them. They are the only people who could attack us. Dan Na Ambasagu is a Dogon militia. They have declared war against the Fulani people. They accuse Fulanis of supporting armed groups like Jamaat Nusrat al-Islam al-Muslimin and the group Islamic State in the Greater Sahara, active in the region where these Fulanis live. There was shooting everywhere in the village. Three minutes into the attack, I called the brigade commander telling him that the town was being attacked and I asked him to deploy soldiers. He said that soldiers were on their way. Ten minutes later, I called again. The soldiers hadn't left. Then I called the captain. His name is Diara. I told him again that our village was being attacked. He told me the soldiers were leaving soon. Some moments later, I called him again, asking him if the troops had left, but they were still in their barracks. And while their barracks were a short 20-minute drive, it took them six hours to get to Gusagu. They arrived after the attackers left. I'm not able to confirm these reports. What I'm aware of is that our Minister of Defense was sent on the spot to coordinate our forces' action in the villages and between the villages to appease the situation, to get stability between villages. Fulanis accused the Malian army of backing the Dogon militias. Malian forces with Dogon militias have conducted joint military operations in the past. And so as Barry was hiding while his village was torched and his family killed, he called the UN peacekeepers known as Minusma for help. I called Minusma. I talked to the people of the United Nations Human Rights Office, Mr. Baka Yoko. He told me that Ogosago is under control. He was trying his best to solve the situation and said that for sure there would be a solution. And then I switched my phone off. These villagers say the UN came, but a day later. The UN peacekeeping force MINUSMA says it sent battalions and helicopters on the day of the attack. This is Mahmoud Saleh Anadif, the head of the mission. Have you failed your mission to protect the civilian population there? Nous avons effectivement un mandat de la protection des civils. We do have a mandate to protect civilians, but if you see the agreement, if you see the mandate of the MINUSMA, it is first intended for the north, the south came after, and it is now being contaminated by what is happening in the north. Violence is spreading faster than it can be contained, and caught in this spiral of destruction are the people of Mali. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bamako.